Woohoo! Welcome to Adventures in Gold Rush! We are out by Basel near the Schweiz and France right over there. We have the Goldie Park set up with a sluice behind it to see if it misses anything. The pieces don't fit together, so we had to put plastic underneath here, otherwise it just falls off the extension. That could be better done. Uh, next time we're going to buy some tape that we can put around it and stick it together. Some of that tape like plumbers use so water don't leak. And uh, yeah, we're about to turn it on and see how she goes. How do we turn it on? We gotta oh, plug it in. <laughs> Here we go. It's gonna be exciting because we gotta be moving stones constantly at the same time. So we're hooking up the small battery to see how it's running. It's There's the double G there. Yeah, it's running. Oh, water's coming out. Is it sucking? Not much water, huh? Yep, you gotta fill it up first. Here we go, we got stuff flowing through, look at that. The back side of that needs to come up a little bit though. So the stuff don't block right here. See what I'm saying? How the stones are sitting there? I think we need to bring this up just a hair. Ah, okay. A little bit. Is there a flat, really flat rock? Yeah. It's that one. That He did say that it's always good if someone's back here to remove the big rocks. But right now they're flowing all off. How's it sucking over there, Bjorn? Is it sucking? Oh, yeah. Maybe we need to have the pump higher up so the water flows a lot stronger. You know what I'm saying? Oh, look here. Sand is sucking. Barely though, barely. I think we're not getting enough pressure. Because you know that hose needs to flow down to create that pressure to pull, to create more sucking pressure. I'm gonna dig a hole up there a little bit further and uh, see if that helps any with the water flow. Field Double G found him a nice cool place to chill. The two are over here working away. Put the pump a little higher up and now look at it full everything's flowing right down through here most of the stones are popping out look at that Here's the problem where we're at is the weeds here getting caught in there. Some of the stones are in there also blocking.
be flowing pretty good through there now. We're recording, we are recording, yeah. So, we built up the box and they are panning the material. Nothing. Nothing in the nugget trap. <laughs> Right there, yeah. Yeah, okay. Oh. One, two, three. And I think there's a few light ones down there. I snuffed those up. All right, so we move, removed the middle part, that round part, because it kept getting stopped up. And then we just ran the pipe through it and uh, are just running it into the sluice because have problems that it constantly kept getting stopped up. The, the thing is that we could be faster with other stuff we have because some some stones go into the nozzle and blocks and then we have to get it out. I had rather dreads directly into a sluice as opposed to this right here. Especially for this location right here, it's not that great. If you were just sucking up sand, then it would be on a beach or something like that. That would probably work good or on a little creek. But here we have a lot of rocks and just problems with this. After 10 minutes, you have to stop and clean it out, and that's just really a pain in the butt. So, see, he got so discouraged over there, he's just like, screw it, I'm going over here and panning myself. Did you find anything? Panning? No. What, I boy? Found, I only found muscles I had never known. <laughs> All right. Hello everyone! Hello, we are back! We are back and tired! <laughs> We're just here to wrap up in the office our thoughts on the Goldie Box 3D printed dredge. First thing we had a problem with, we used the 3700 liter pump and in 15 minutes it was full to where, I mean, stuff would just flow over. The chambers were completely full. This was so full that uh, we were having problems getting suction because it would get so full in here too as well. For where we were on the Rhine, I don't think it's that great, but I can imagine in a smaller like creek or something where you don't have as many stones and you really want to get down in crevice that it could be good. Yeah, what do you yeah I think because of the bigger stones we had in, in, in the river Rhine and this uh, normal is inside here, and so everything's filled here, yeah, yeah. even inside the, this, this, this row, and um, that's caused uh, the bottleneck. This thing works really good, and it's a good alternative because it's a lot cheaper than buying one out of metal. But this worked really, really well. But then when we put the extension on, well now it stays because here is all rough. But we had a problem at the beginning when it's always falling off. Very easily. Which can be solved by putting a little bit of tape and then it would stay. But 
right now the pieces don't fit that well together. Also here. Here, that one is the... Does this one stay the, in there? No, I don't think so. No, no. either for the but extension. If you use that one, the bigger stones wouldn't uh, fit into and goes uh, around to the to the uh, goalie box. But That's uh, why I think this would be really good for crevicing yeah. in a river, in a small, small, yeah. not a big yeah. one. But the problem is again here, yeah. you have that. Yeah. Well, you that. can fit that. For me, it's a little bit too slow because I like to work at a faster pace. So I find it to be something more for if you're in a small creek or something and really want to get in and get some crevicing done uh, with a few adjustments, it would work really well. But for where we were using it with that many stones, it just wasn't productive because like I said, it is very light and something you could carry. The pieces, these work really well together. I think it should be wider and more built like a sluice, maybe a nugget trap or something in the front part. But uh, as I remember, um, the little flakes we found were, were set in this. In there. In that one? Yeah. Not, not in the uh -uh. trap. In the trap, in the nugget trap, I guess you would call it, we only found a couple of. Uh, uh, specs. We found the most in here on first time. Okay. Then the second time we found in here and in here. So, okay. and in the, the, the sluice we had behind it, we only found one small flake in the sluice box. These holes right here that put water in here, these would get stopped up all the time. But you can take out the things here and we had to clear them out. Well, that's our review of the Goldie Box. Everybody has to decide for themselves, of course, what's best because different strokes, different folks. You know what I mean, Bjorn? Yeah. <laughs> well, that's it for this episode. And if you want to follow us, subscribe in the YouTube channel. And if you want to get the next information for us, notify, notify this bell icon yes, over here. Yes, the bell icon. And to be eligible for our special giveaways, make sure that you support us on Patreon. There's a link in the description below. So we'll see you next time.